Every person has their own expectations of living in New York City. Some good, some bad, and some that are true. Whether they've seen it in movies or on TV shows or even on YouTube. But in this video, we're gonna show the realities of what it's actually like living here in New York City. Also, a portion of this video is sponsored by Madewell, which I will tell you about shortly. So first things first, the weather. Now fall, summer, spring, there is such a high quality of life here. But then comes around January and February and things turn dark real quick. Quite literally, I think the sun starts setting at like 4 p.m. And yes, this place does look magical when it snows here, but the day after and for the next two weeks, it just kind of looks like a Coca-Cola Slurpee. And we did just start entering into fall, and this is such a magical time to be here in New York. But I do have to be truthful and say, it is starting to get a bit cold. But luckily, Madewell, which is one of my favorite clothing brands, is sponsoring this portion of the video, and were kind enough to hook me up with their new fall line. So it is quickly turning into fall here in New York City, which summer is probably my favorite season to be here in New York, but fall, there's something so magical about the leaves changing colors, the weather, and the outfits that you get to wear. And we just made it here to the Madewell store in Brooklyn. And Madewell is one of my favorite clothing brands, and we're also kind enough to sponsor this video and hook me up with some fall fits. So let's get in there and do some shopping. Fall really is such a magical time to be here in New York. And I am so excited to hopefully be here for the majority of the rest of this year working on these videos. As well as now I'm also very excited that I have some new Midwell fall fits. Since the style of their clothes and the quality are just perfect for every occasion for me when it's fall here in New York. Whether I'm out shooting or riding around on the bike or even out on a date night, Madewell makes clothes that are perfect for everything. Also, I do have to say that their denim is my favorite denim. Check out how much that stretches. They're just so comfy and the fit is just perfect. Also, I hope they're a little bit waterproof because I've been getting soaked from the East River. <laughs> Thank you Madewell for sponsoring that portion of the video. So a lot of people presume and have the expectations that all New Yorkers are rich, super successful, and very interesting. And that is partially true, but I think a more accurate way to put it is that everyone here is striving to be those things. And that's what I love about the energy of New York City is that everyone here is striving to be the best versions of themselves. This is the place where you find your maximum potential and push yourself to your limits. And my main philosophy in life is that I wanna be 1% better today than I was yesterday. And living here really does help make that possible. I'm gonna shut Morning and daily routine here in New York is my absolute favorite. To wake up in a place where you can feel the energy of everyone else getting up and getting after it inspires yourself so much more to be that 1% better every single day. Now I would say the main thing people expect with living in New York is that it's expensive. And the reality is that is without a doubt, undeniably, Unfortunately, very true. Like anywhere in the world though, there are tricks and hacks to live in New York on a budget. You may have to find your apartment on Craigslist and have seven strangers as roommates, but you do adapt and the prices here just become the norm. Also, another expectation about New York is that it's loud. The reality, it's really freaking loud. <laughs> it's been so hard to film. <laughs> you gotta just embrace it and appreciate it though. Music to my ears. But yeah, it is very expensive here. But the good thing about that is whenever you do travel to anywhere else, everything just seems so affordable relative to here to New York. Since every single time you walk out your front door, you should expect to pay at least $30 since the food here is just so irresistible. <laughs> Shot. 
shot, 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 everybody. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys know there's chocolate milk, but have you ever had chocolate chip cookie milk? So this place Dominique Ansel is known for a lot of different baked goods. This is their Krona that probably made them the most famous for. But then this right here, it's a chocolate chip cookie that they pour milk into. And it tastes so delicious. I feel like the best part is still yet to be had. And then you get to eat the cookie. Yeah. That's just like that perfect amount of sob. <laughs> Maybe we should have filmed with the milk before you drank it, but you were just too excited. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh well. Mmm. <laughs> wow. It's like when you dip a chocolate chip cookie into milk and it tastes so much better. But having the milk inside the chocolate chip cookie is unbeatable. This is so phenomenal. I often describe New York as the ultimate office and everywhere else is vacation. And there is a lot of truth to that, but New York does also offer a lot of things that I feel like get overlooked. Since there is hiking close by, there's even waterfalls close by, there's Central Park, and a ton of other parks and activities that New York has to offer. So a lot of people think that New York City is just this concrete jungle where it's work, work, work. Now, that may be a little bit true, but there are also a ton of parks where it does make you feel like you escape the city and the craziness for a little bit. And also that you can still make time for the, the hobbies and passions and the things that you love. Whether that's going to a skate park or playing volleyball or joining a baseball league, New York City does have communities and activities for everything. And visiting New York versus living in New York, the realities are differential. Since when you live here, there really is something always going on and there's always something new popping up. All right, so now we're gonna do something that I have been wanting to do. This place just opened up, how long ago, Nadia? Like four months ago? No, 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 less than two months. Less than two months ago. Here, you wanna be in my video? So this is Nadia and her son, they are the founders of this place. It's called Shot of Art. Yeah, Shot of Art. So here in our place, we want to show you that you don't need to know how to draw to be an artist. To be an artist, it's more about to be in the moment and your emotions in the moment. When we live our daily life, it's in a plain one color, but inside of each of us, there is a little kid who could just open curtain a little bit and it's so colorful inside. So let's see. <laughs> I'm so excited. So yeah, they kind of do it in an untraditional way where, why am I explaining? Let's show you guys. So how this works is you get a blank canvas like this and they do all these unique, super cool ways to paint your canvas. And in addition to that, we're also gonna use ourselves and our clothes as the canvas. Time to be a clothing designer. Let's get dirty. Let's kick it off. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the next Picasso. <laughs> it's a lot better with the camera than with the, a balloon full of paint. <laughs> So this is our masterpiece. I am so happy with how it came out. This is so cool. I can't believe that we made this from shooting balloons with a BB gun. I feel like this should be hanging up in the Louvre. Another expectation people often have about New York is that it's a lonely city. And when I was first on my own here, that was also the case. I was living in my tiny apartment with all these strangers as roommates and didn't have too many friends. But I feel like if you can prevail past that first year or so and really put yourself out there, New York has so much to offer and can introduce you to some of the most inspiring people. So 
we definitely picked probably the most perfect evening to come here to Central Park to read. We just saw someone get proposed to. He's doing it. <laughs> this is why New York City is so magical. And now one of the most magical sunsets I've seen in a long time. But I am here with Noelle, who is an <laughs> author. So Noelle, why as an author, what made you want to move to New York City? Is it that this is where you find a lot of inspiration from, somewhere that pushes you? I think all of the above. I feel like New York City is the city of dreams, especially as an author. I kind of always say that this is the city of main characters because I feel like everyone's living their main character life. And so I wanted to move here because it's so beautiful, it's inspirational, and there's so many creatives here that are chasing after their dreams. So it's the perfect backdrop to kind of chase your own dreams and make things happen. And now you've lived here for two years? Yes, going on two. Do you feel like living here for those past two years have met your expectations before you did move here? I think it more than met expectations. I feel like it exceeded it. Yeah, I mean, this is what you get to call home. So that's gonna be it for today's video. But if there is an expectation and reality about living in New York City that I forgot, make sure to comment it down below and also make sure to hit that subscribe button because it really does help me out a lot. But until next week, let's be 1% better every day and I'll see you there.